Oliver S.A.R. isn't currently among the 20 players on OKC's roster, and it appears unlikely that he will return to the team, especially if Bear Tuns remains there. The front court boasts an abundance of talent and depth, making it challenging for Sarf to secure any significant playing time. The Thunder might retain Zar within the organization through another two-way deal, but they could also follow the example of the Lakers with Cole Swider. Los Angeles could have simply retained Swider on his two-way deal. However, they decided to afford him an opportunity for more playing time elsewhere, recognizing that such an opportunity wasn't available for him there. As for SAR, he is currently not signed to a two-way deal with the Lakers, so they need not hope for that specifically. Instead, they need to hope that he becomes part of the roster after the Thunder make some cuts. While SAR might not drastically alter the team's title projections, he remains a promising young center who offers precisely what the Lakers are seeking. Sar has the ability to space the floor without compromising his defensive capabilities, making him a valuable asset. Standing at 6 feet 11 inches, he may not be an incredibly dynamic defender, but he certainly surpasses Wood in that aspect. This suggests that he could potentially play alongside Anthony Davis, contributing defensively in the paint while providing floor spacing on the offensive end. Sar has participated in 31 NBA games during his career, showcasing a 37.8% three-point shooting while averaging 1.3 blocks and 8.3 rebounds per 36 minutes. In the G League last season, SAR impressed with a 44% shooting from beyond the arc, along with 2.4 blocks and 8.8 .8 rebounds in 24.9 minutes per game. His college numbers from his senior season at Kentucky further reinforce his potential, shooting 44.4% from beyond the arc and averaging 1.2 blocks and 5.2 rebounds in 25.1 minutes per game. His ability to space the floor while embodying a traditional center's role is undoubtedly present. Will SAR arrive in LA and transform into an amazing two-way player, becoming a pivotal part of the playoff rotation? Probably not. However, he could easily play 15 minutes per game, knock down his shots efficiently, and, most importantly, embrace his role without causing distractions. The likelihood of this signing raises intriguing discussions. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.